No, it was a really good example, I think. Uh, getting in bed with Stalin was a very classic case of, you know, lesser of two evil kind of choices. Um, again, where, where the outcome, both outcomes are so uncertain, uh, befriending an ally. But I, this is one actually Michael mentioned. I'd like to hear Michael's full take on it. Uh, Hiroshima, right? Where you, you, You're talking about dropping an atomic bomb. You know, the, the choice that was um, facing the U.S. was, it was an, a full-scale invasion, which would have killed uh, so many people on, on both sides of the equation, both, both sides of the conflict, um, and taken a lot longer and, and had a much less uncertain outcome. But again, the, the uncertainty was quite high, what the effects would be. Uh, what, what do you think, Michael? Tell, tell, give us your, your thoughts. I actually love the uh, example of Allied bombing in World War II because, again, I think that this is one that has a lot of uh, myth around it, a lot of mythology, a lot of um, sort of ad ad hoc justifications as well. Um, There's a book that I encourage everyone to read now that we're having this conversation is uh, Among the Dead Cities by A.C. Grayling. Grayling. I uh, had that conversation. Uh, thank you, DPR. Uh, during the I, last, I, I can uh, never stay awake long enough to read Daisy Grayling. <laughs> or to talk to him, apparently. <laughs> so, um, anyways, it's... Uh, but his analysis shows that, actually, there was quite... Uh, there was a lot of evidence that precisely these types of calculations had been skewed um, very heavily in favor of bombing. But the actual evidence concretely points the other way, that once you start bombing civilian centers, that troops fight much more strongly, they fight to the death, uh, that it actually has a a greater impact on morale, that uh, on top of just killing innocent people, um, and among those people, uh, like the Dresden bombing, it was just a pure civilian center. Dresden was in Germany, it was firebombed by the Allied forces. That's not true. It, 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 it was a a communication and transport hub. And well, manufacturing. Let's, let's, it, let's it seek was... to stick on topic because I think it's an interesting topic. I just wanted to clarify when no, uh, Dres- Michael, Dresden when was Michael, selected. One second. Point. Sorry. Sorry, just to clarify before you do go on. When you say people fight harder, you're talking about the, the victims of the bombings. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we were on, on point on that. Do carry on. I'm sorry, um, Andrew, I, just, I just think it's an interesting topic. I don't want to get bogged down about exactly what Dresden was. Well, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Just to just to reiterate, though, with with Dresden, um, I don't. I know you don't want to go down that road, but I think it is it, it is a great no, example. I'm happy to go down it, that road. The only point I didn't want to go down is whether Dresden had some sort of like military um, okay. significance or whatever. Right, but I think it was um, there were uh, Dresden aside, um, even Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They're, they're large civilian populations as well. Like, they were, there were targets throughout World War II that were selected not just because of being, um, of being military-specific, but because they would influence... The, it was believed that you can bomb people into submission or, more importantly, destroy their culture in some way, which is ultimately also part of the Dresden bombing. Dresden was the, the central hub of all of German culture. It contained museums, uh, works of art, unique architecture, unlike anywhere else in Germany. Part of the reasons the Allies picked Dresden, and they picked Hiroshima as well, was because that these were central pieces of the Japanese and German cultures. And it was ultimately believed that you had to wipe these people out of existence, destroy them completely, in order to have peace. And I think not only is there the first point that I mentioned that this ultimately causes people to believe that there's no other way out but to fight, but also there, I think there's something inherently, uh, for lack of a better term, genocidal about believing that you have to completely destroy a culture in order to have peace. Um, in, in fact, the term Grayling used is culture-side. It's the complete obliteration of a, a group of people because of who they are. And I think that's morally repugnant in the highest degree. But we weren't talking about the difference between you know, bombing and not bombing. We're talking about the difference between you know, a, a single dramatic event 
versus a, a long, drawn-out, protracted conflict where civilians will continue to die through you know conventional bombing. Uh, you know, the Dresden was a was a firebombing. Obviously, the the point was to cause as much damage as possible. But the the purpose of all of these things was to avert the inevitable consequences. Maybe not inevitable. The likely. Well, consequences. that's sort of the point. Is like, right. are these right. actually inevitable? And what sorts of pieces factor into that calculation? For the Allies, we do have the evidence that part of their calculation was the belief that, uh, like, there is something in the Teutonic culture, which was inherently militaristic, and that the only way to destroy, uh, to end, uh, I was, think... was to destroy... Teutonic Roger, I'll culture. come to you in one second. Let me just say um, that on the Blog TV uh, stream, the uh, Skype button above uh, on the banner um, seems to say we're offline. We're not offline. If you would like to join the show, please send a contact request to Magic Sandwich Show. Include in that, please the gist of the topic or question that you would like to address. Anyone that sends one without will simply be ignored. Uh, Oliver, I'm also going to remove you and bring in the next caller, but uh, whilst I do that, Thunder, do carry on. Thank you very much for your contribution, Oliver. Uh, 